What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome back to another video. And today we woke up. It's Monday. Very productive. I love Mondays because they're super productive. We had our team meeting with the our team of our company, Mukai. And it was great, super productive. And now today we are going to work out. Um, and after working out, we're gonna jump we in the water and clean to... in the boat. No, we're not gonna clean the boat. <laughs> we're gonna jump in the water and then we have to record some videos for Mokai. So we're gonna take you guys along and then we're going to sail to the next island because we're trying to find places where we can provision. And it seems like there might be good provisioning there. And then after that, we'll go to Bekia to provision the rest for our trip to Los Roques. So join us guys, join us for this beautiful, beautiful time here in the Grenadines. I'm sure you're wondering how we started, how we got here, what it takes to be traveling full time and be working. This Valentine's Day. <sighs> oh. Pretty good, very, very sunny. And now we are thinking of going to, for a little kite session. Before we leave. Before we leave. We rarely share with you guys about us working, but we actually work every day. That's what we do the most. <laughs> we just record the little parts that are fun because you know, what's fun about sitting in the computer? Nothing. But today we're gonna share a little bit of the behind the scenes behind of what we do working from our computers and tra as we travel full time and as we sail and live on our sailboat. You can see a scenario, two computers open with the notepads. <laughs> very, 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 very interesting people. So we have on our business, so if you guys don't know it, or if you're new to our channel, um, we run an online business where we inspire healthier pets through real and sustainable ingredients. So we basically do that through, through health supplements for dogs and through grooming supplies. After living on a boat and seeing what the ocean and what our planet really looks like, we realized that we couldn't continue to be part of the problem. So our products were like everyone else's, just standard basic formulas packed in plastic. And when we moved on our boat and we started seeing how the coral reefs were dead, how the marine species were declining, endangered species were pretty much you know, almost at risk of extinction. And we realized that a lot of dog products, and just like in humans, a lot of dog and human products contain those species that are so vulnerable. We don't really even know about it. I didn't even know about it. And we were the ones selling those products and we didn't even know. So we started doing a lot of research. We took out a loan in order to be able to make the push and change all our products to plant-based formulas and plastic-free formulas. So now all our products are made from shark-free ingredients. Actually found that sharks can actually be found in dog food, which was super, you know, it like blew my mind. You can find ingredients uh, derived from shark even in your makeup, even in your, so many human products that we're not even aware of. And so now I'm super proud of our products because now our omega-3 for dogs actually saves 60 tons of fish for every ton of oil of omega-3 from our oil because it is sourced from algae. So it's completely plant-based and it still has a high concentration of omega-3 fatty acids for dogs, which is still super healthy. Anyway, that's what we've been working on the past couple of days. What are you doing? Taking out the gear from our messy room because we need to fix it again. So to be able to ride the kite, you need a pump to pump the kite. You need the harness to strap on the bar 
which the bar attaches to the head. Oh, ready? Well, this wind is so depressing. I just changed, and as I was changing, the wind dropped to 10 knots. We don't want to be struggling out there. Just rowing and rowing. Just rowing, yeah. We oh, want Akai to have fun. Awesome, bro. <laughs> Jesus! This is Sparta! This is Sparta! Oh, now I'm injured. Ow. This no, no. is Sparta! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so Andrea was. Touched the floor. See? Are we like super close because I literally touched the floor. In my I don't know. So now that you guys know that we are not what the comments that we get sometimes say, which that we're rich kids and that our parents pay for this boat and this lifestyle. But you know that we work and we actually pay for everything ourselves. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how we started, how we got here, um, you know, what it takes to be traveling full time and be working. And so let's start with the basics. Started our business five years ago. Um, we started because I was working in insurance, Aleko was working in retail, in mobile. We were just tired. We had just gotten married, bought our, our house, or and we had just remodeled it so we had zero money and we were just really really tired of working like every person that lives in the corporate world does but we barely got to see each other and we were just it just felt like we were working just to pay for our house and our cars in in south florida so it just wasn't the life that i pictured for myself and i was really frustrated i shared my feelings with alejo and alejo told me to quit I wanted both of us to quit our jobs and that's when we started looking into starting a business. So I started really researching and I found that um, selling on Amazon was a huge, huge opportunity. At the same time, we have our dogs, which at that time, Ozzy was diagnosed with osteoarthritis and he was also an echo. We had just adopted her and being she was already like two years old when we adopted her and she had serious, serious, serious anxiety and stress problems. We found this course from Amazing Day Specialized on everything that it means to sell on Amazon. We really learned everything that we needed in order to get started on selling our products on Amazon. We even started with a product that is not related to what we do now. It was actually a pet seat cover for our car. So we started with that and then it got extremely competitive because um, a lot of Chinese people started coming into the market and then we decided to just move forward with the pet supplements. We started doing working with a company that would allow us to buy their products, put our, put our brand on them, and be able to sell them on our website and on Amazon. And then after that, we just started working and working on growing our business. Our business is what has allowed us to just first go and live in the Dominican Republic, then be able to build a travel trailer and travel through the entire coast of the United States and Mexico and Baja then to be able to travel from Airbnb to Airbnb and find the most amazing kite spots in the world and now live on a sailboat. Is it easy? No. Do we have to, do we just sit here and like we kite all day and jump in the water all day and do fun things all day? No. We are always, always, always on the computer. We're always connected. We're always um, in contact with our team. We have four people in our team they all work from home and we are always just connected and we can't get disconnected because that's how we live that's how we make a living and you know now that we have changed all our products now that we have really found the reason why we really do this and why we want to make a huge impact now we want our products to just completely be different and we want you know not only to have a huge impact on the quality of life of pets and give people an opportunity to find an alternative and sustainable option to pet products maybe i'm saying the numbers wrong and i'll put it here if i'm saying it wrong but i believe only three percent of plastic is actually recycled and the u.s is the number one producer of plastic so i don't know it just felt like what we were doing wasn't actually aligning with our true beliefs and our true values and i wish we would have done this a long time ago but we just didn't have the money we didn't have um the resources we didn't have the knowledge 
And the skills, exactly. This kind of lifestyle is not easy to begin or to maintain. It takes a lot of hard work, dedication. It's hard because you need like put your time into it and you need to build skills, you need to build knowledge. I do recommend like looking at courses and looking at videos of other entrepreneurs and just trying to absorb as much as you can. It's so hard to show you guys what we have been through to get to where we are right now, but believe me, it has been a lot of tears as well because when we first started, we had nothing. And we started just buying inventory on our credit cards and put it in on uh, using balance transfers to, to be able to buy the inventory because we had spent all our money buying the house and remodeling it. Where I remember when we were living in the travel trailer, I was crying because we couldn't pay our cards because it's not, you know, it's not as easy as it looks like, oh yeah, let's start a business and I'll be making money in like three months, I'll be just a millionaire, like, and I don't that know. That could happen to some people. Yeah, it but has that was to in some our, people, and, but, but it that was in our case. case for sure. At the beginning, I couldn't delegate anything. I thought I was the only one that could do everything in the, in the company, like everything from designing to building the website, to be able to do sales, to be able to like manage pay-per-click and advertising, um, everything, and I learned that I, need to be able to rely on people like everything believe me logistics warehouse everything and now we're able to you know manage a team and lead and now we're trying to learn how to become better leaders learn how to be better at marketing like all these things that when we first started we had no idea i mean like i said i was working in insurance completely unrelated to being an entrepreneur i think being an entrepreneur has always been like in my soul because i really have never been so passionate about something the good thing about being a digital nomad or an entrepreneur where you're able to manage your time manage your business is that you're able to work at any time you want from the best and most beautiful places like this one and yeah sometimes you know right now we are it's monday it is like 1 p.m. and we're recording this video and we were working today at like 9 a.m. right like we had a web developer leave us halfway through our website we had to just make the website ourselves from scratch Alejo doing all the research me doing it as he was doing the research an entire week just like at 3 a.m. working and for an entire week like almost working non-stop like 15 hour days just trying to bring the website back up live that was hard because you barely sleep barely have any food it's all on you right the responsibility is yours the risk is yours the loss of money is yours the loss of investment the time the effort everything is on you but it's worth it because we get to be here right we get to do what we love we get to spend time doing the things that we enjoy and we get to spend time together because that is the reason why we decided to leave our jobs in the first place because we weren't seeing each other and we barely had time to be together so we just finished recording now we are heading woo, to the other island uh, a little choppy we are heading to those islands over there oh well, that island over there uh, we can't raise our sails because the wind's coming straight to us, so we can't raise our sails. We should be there. It's only a short one-hour motor, and we should be there shortly. So, <laughs> we made it to the anchorage. Yes. And we just realized this Valentine's Day. <sighs> oh, and we want to go for dinner. Oh, we don't have any food to eat <laughs> Baby, do you have to say something to people that don't know if you love me or not for Valentine's Day? Nope. You don't know me, people. You don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Hello, chef. Hello, people. What are you going to cook? So, for me, I got chicken and rice. For Andrea, we got some chickpeas with rice, onions, garlic, and mushrooms. Oy. And I just showered because we have to record some videos for Mokai. So we're gonna go to the beach and record them. One of the things that I wanted to say is that nowadays it's easier than ever to be a digital nomad because there's so many ways that you can actually make money remotely and do remote work. Whether you're already working for a company because of COVID they have really pushed remote work and you can actually you know either ask your company to the you can travel remotely i know a lot of people are doing that 
another way that you can make money you know is whether like if you have a blog or you know uh, YouTube you can do affiliate marketing you can sell your own product there's multiple websites either Amazon eBay Etsy uh, multiple websites that you can actually sell your products I think the most important thing is just figuring out what your skills are and just what you're passionate about. Something that really, really changed for us was the fact that we understood what we were good at and we tried to work with our strengths. And I'm always thinking about like ideas on things that we can do for the business, how we can grow. Alejo is actually really good at anything that's logistics, research. So he focuses on everything that's inventory, warehouse management, shippings, orders, all that stuff. I'm more of the marketing side of things and kind of like overlooking and thinking, you know, okay, what we want to do what like what the future is and just you know if we're thinking of things that we want to do in the future we all of us have so many different strengths that we have to just focus on them and focus what we're passionate on and and just learn how to monetize it that's the thing so we moved to anchorage like uh five minutes away no, 30 minutes away and then he's gonna make some noodles quick food today's valentine's we're gonna go to we were gonna go to that restaurant right there. So we were gonna go to the restaurant, but then we went online. Google reviews, it's always the best. The plates were almost $50. And this is what they serve you. Elegant <laughs> restaurants is like, this is what you get. And we're really hungry. We don't, that's not my type of restaurant. So we're just gonna cook whatever's left. We're already super out of groceries, but hopefully tomorrow. We'll find something good at the grocery store there.